Welcome back to What Culture Gaming. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I'm sure you are all expecting at some point, and that is Albert Wesker. Now I've done several videos on Albert Wesker from Resident Evil articles and other people's articles, but today I'm just going to ramble on and tell you why I believe that Wesker is the perfect villain. Now Wesker is just to me just the epitome of the perfect villain because it's just everything about him. It's the way he talks, it's the way he moves, it's the way he dresses, it's his style, it's his attitude and the fact that he is just overall the the biggest villain in all of the Resident Evil games. Minus obviously the bosses and everything that you go against, the monsters, the zombies, but bear in mind a lot of this was caused by Albert Wesker. You know the T-Virus and, and the G-Virus and everything like that and Ouroboros was all leaked because of Albert Wesker and at one point he has a plan to literally put the virus within like <laughs> rockets and just and just blow people up and infect everyone. That's his entire plan. He wants to infect as many people as possible and not only that but he just can't be trusted and he has this side of him that makes him very suave and, 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 and almost sexy. I mean I say almost. He's clearly a very sexy man. I mean look at him but he he entices people in whether it be you know colleagues and, and partners and and even poor um Exella Janae who um you know he entices so much that she completely is besotted by him uh, you know and I completely feel where she's coming from because I mean why would you not but he even then can't hold them down like he just he uses people in a way that is just so maniacally evil he gets people to to trust him and fall in love with him only for the, him to literally not only just like bin them off or kill them but he completely destroys them like he turns them into these horrific creatures and completely betrays them and and sets them against sometimes their own partners he did the same with Jill where he set them against um Chris and Sheva which is you know just such a horrible thing for Chris to have to do is to fight his like old partner he's just so evil in such clever ways he he picks out the exact thing that he knows is your weakness and he takes it and he crushes it in just the most evil way and that is what I love so much about Wesker and the fact that he is just able to continuously come back as well like obviously um after the first game it's believed that he might be dead but then there's rumours going around that he might be alive and then it turns out that he is alive and he's actually infected with the T virus. He comes back, he forms new strains of the virus, he works with people like Exella and other scientists to basically try and get his hands on everything that he can. He's finally taken down by Chris and Sheva in Resident Evil 5 I believe and even then he puts up such a fight he does not want to go down he wants to make sure that chris and everyone else to do with stars and um, and even umbrella himself but he literally kind of becomes his own company within himself it's like no one else matters but me albert wesker that's all that matters nobody else does it's all about me and i'm gonna try and kill and infect and betray as many people as possible and he gets away with a lot of it he fakes his own death he does die on on a couple of times but he comes back he gets infected with his own virus because he's able to physically take the strain of that and he is just this maniacal evil being but he does so in such a a, a stunning cool way that it's almost impossible to hate him like you're almost rooting for him at some points i know what i was and when you finally go against wesker in at the end of resident evil 5 it's quite a difficult boss fight in a sense and wesker is just a frustrating person to go against because he is just so majorly op compared to any of the other monsters that you go against but at the same time you almost don't want him to properly die like you want to you want to defeat him because he's clearly a bad man but he's such a likable villain that you don't want him to properly die and so when he did kind of disappear and get blown up at, in this volcano and stuff um you know it's really sad because I didn't want him to disappear and then obviously throughout Resident Evil 6 and 7 there's like rumors of him still being alive there's like you know audio notes and and tapes and and diary entries that suggest that he might still be lurking around somewhere and 
honestly a huge part of me hopes that he is. I would absolutely love for him to be brought back in those typical Wesker fashion where he just kind of sort of skulkingly comes out from the shadows with his awesome glasses on but then his eyes light up like they usually do and he's just absolutely brilliant and I would love for Wesker to have a comeback in any new Resident Evil game that they decide to make. I know that they're remaking a lot of the old ones at the moment and even if they remade some of the old ones like where they remade the first one I would love to see a proper remade first Resident Evil game to just just to see what, what Wesker looks like because there's been many renditions of him but he always looks very similar and even in the movies they did a cracking job with casting the guy that plays Wesker so he just always has a very similar look and I want to have that on a next gen console would be fantastic because I want to see what he looks like and honestly I don't think that I ever want to see a proper death of Wesker yes he's a villain but he's an incredibly cool and likeable one and that is why I think he's just so perfect is because he has done some of the most heinous things he has killed hundreds if not millions of people he's infected them he's betrayed people he's stabbed them in the back he has just done everything that you could possibly think of that is just makes that could possibly make him a villain and he is just at the top level of the villain in the whole of the Resident Evil series. You're supposed to hate the villain, but instead he has this huge fan base and people absolutely love him. And that, my friends, is why Albert Wesker is so perfect. And that is my video on why Albert Wesker is the perfect video game villain. Do you guys agree with me? If you do, leave me a comment down below. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. But for now, I have been Kirsten from What Culture, and I will see you in the next video.